Welcome back to Ugly Truck. Okay, so somehow we've done two whole LS swaps on this channel and we've never shown you the OBD port and the check engine light. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get started. Okay, so like, like Emily said, uh, today we're gonna wire up the ALDL connector. That's what I call them. Uh, they have a lot of different names. The most common name for them right now is a OBD2 connector. Yeah. Right? Back in the 80s, uh, cars started coming out with computers and uh, the plug didn't look the same as this. Uh, each manufacturer had kind of their own little system. Uh, they were all kind of a nightmare and you had to have a, a tool for each one of them, whatever you're gonna work on, okay? So, uh, somewhere in the early 90s, I think, somebody said, hey, we, we better figure this out quick because things are changing fast and these people can't work on their cars. So uh, somebody said, we're going to come up with a connector that we all have to follow the standards on. And that was an OBD2 connector. Yeah. So everybody's uh, little scan tools and uh, checkers and they will plug into this one. And unless you're a really weird company, uh, the computer will read almost everything. Yeah. But there, there are some that hold out that, that um, they run off of a different thing. They're a real nightmare. I'm not saying Audi. Mm, okay. Don't want to name any or names. Or Volkswagen. Just saying. Okay. But they just have to be different. Yeah. But for the most part, these things kind of really helped us out because it gave us the ability to buy one scan tool, plug into it, and uh, do a lot with just that one port and uh, made things a lot easier, yeah. okay? And it's super important when you do like an LS swap, um, you want to be able to take a look at that engine and see what it's doing. Um, on top of that, the check engine light, okay? Mm -hmm. The other thing, that's what came out at the same time as these. When something went wrong with your engine, computer would sense it and turn the check engine light on. Yeah. Most of them were yellow or orange. We're, we're gonna use a blue one. Mm -hmm. It's easier so, on the eyes. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, the mill light. Uh, that's how I refer to them, or uh, check engine light. So it has a lot of different names also. Mm -hmm. MIL stands for, uh, do you want to say it? Malfunction indicator lamp. Yes. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. I learned. I learned Gosh. something. I can just go home now. So the MIL light and the check engine light, okay? Uh, what does it do? Uh, what, it, what it does on the LS swap is when we turn the key on, it's going to do a bulb check so you know that the actual light works, okay? And then hopefully it shuts off and you drive down the road and until that computer senses something outside of its normal parameters, uh, it won't set a, a check engine light or check engine code and turn that light on so you know something is wrong, okay? Okay. Uh, when we finished putting the 5.3 in this truck, it had never had a check engine light on it at all. I used to check it with a scan tool periodically. Mm -hmm. It had no codes in it. Yep. Uh, we put a 5.3 in this thing, We and I had the computer reprogrammed. Took it for a drive, came back, check engine light um, on when I checked it with a scanner. Yeah. Uh, it had a code in it for uh, lean on both both banks. Yep. Uh, power brake booster was leaking. Yep. Okay. So, and it didn't do it two weeks before when we had taken that engine out or, or when we had driven it last. So, you know, in that amount of time, that was enough for something to go wrong. And you certainly don't want to be cruising around with your check, check engine, engine light on or with, with a lean condition. Yeah, for sure. Know. Okay. So, we're going to show you today how to do it. So, what you're going to need. A connector, uh, you can buy these brand new, okay? Yep. I take them out of the uh, trucks that we pull the motors out of and that, but but you can buy the, the ALDO connectors brand new now, I've seen. Sweet. Okay? It doesn't take much at all. It actually only takes three wires to make this thing work, but it's got uh, two grounds, 
and that's what I mean by three. It has, you know, those four go, wires total. But those okay. go to the same place. Yeah. So. Well, they are. They're going to for us. Okay. So uh, then you've got a, your orange wire, which is just a power wire that's hot at all times, and you have a purple wire that is the data link connector. Yeah. Okay. It's the important one. Right. Yeah. Another thing too. Yeah. Data. Data link. When I say a data link connector, uh, this communicates uh, between your ECM and your scan tool or yeah. whatever. Uh, it, it doesn't carry 12 volts. It does, it's not a ground or anything like that. It's just a wire that talks computer language between this and the ECM. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think when we did the air conditioning one, I think I didn't mention what a data connector really does, you know? Oh. But, and whatever it does, it's magic. Like <laughs> I said before, it, we haven't had these since Roswell. Roswell, yeah. 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 So right after Roswell, oh, data link connectors. Yeah. I'm not saying anything. I don't know. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you agree with me? Oh, I, I, I don't want to say it for sure um, <laughs> without my tinfoil hat on. Okay, and then you'll need some kind of a light. This one's a little LED one, uh, but um, you can use whatever, you know, a little 12 volt one, no problem. Yep. Uh, they don't carry, it's something that just doesn't carry a lot of amperage, so you don't have to worry about burning out. Cool. Plus, a lot of them are just on all the time, so you don't want the whole truck illuminated while you're driving. <laughs> exactly, take night, that into account. Know. Yeah. How good your engine yeah. runs. Go yeah, ahead. it's a check engine light. It's not a, uh, <laughs> it's not a dome lamp. No. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start wiring it from the inside of the truck out and then we'll terminate everything inside the engine compartment on the truck. Okay. Cool. I don't have the exact wires that we need, but we do have similar. Okay. Cool. All right. Excuse me. All right. All right. Let's get the whiteboard fired up. Yeah. Okay. So uh, like what we normally do, we're going to uh, start off with something and we'll we'll finish that part okay, okay. and what we'll start with we'll do the we'll start off with the ALDL connector okay okay so let's um, let's start with the ground first uh, it, the ALDL connector they have a pin four and five uh, I just tie the two together and uh, go to ground okay and the ground's going to be outside uh, the truck uh, up by the lug where the uh, computer's grounded and uh, that's just the way I like to do it okay mm -hmm. so let's do that I'm gonna use a uh, my largest black wire that I have it's it doesn't need that that to be that big but that's what I'm gonna do okay. um, And then what we'll do is we'll do all the wires that, um, oh, I think we won't do that. We'll, just for the video's sake, we'll leave them outside just to wire it up. You know what I mean? Leave the plug on the outside? Yeah. I mean, I, I can cut three wires later on. Oh, okay. You know? So, I'm going to use uh, some solder butt connectors on all these. Yeah, he said butt. <laughs> Can always get you with that one. Yeah. All right. So, we do have an orange wire. Uh, the orange wire is the power uh, coming into the ALDL connector. Uh, the only reason you run power to the ALDL connector is it's just for your scan tool. There's nothing going on that you need power for. Ooh, it's it's a nice place to use it when you're under a dash and you need some power. Oh yeah. Just to steal some for a second while you're looking at something, but. Uh, oh yeah. But otherwise, you do not. Um, it does not need power except for something to power up the scan tool, and that's what that power is for. Okay. Okay. And that's why it's hot at all times. Okay. 
Okay. All right. And what we also need power for is uh, our light bulb, our mill light, okay? Our check engine light. Oops, sorry, Ben. My wires. Right. Sorry, I broke your wire. Aww. Um, so the check engine light, I'm also going to get power off of this one too, okay? Okay. All right. And uh, it sits down right, right next to the ALDL connector, so I just put it right next to it. Okay. Hair dryer. Mm -hmm. Can you it? Okay. okay, so the orange wire that's going to supply power uh, to the ALDL, ALDL connector, uh, OBD port, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to supply power for your uh, check engine light, okay? Cool. Which will be mounted under the dash somewhere where you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so basically, we've got the ground kind of done. We've got it to where it's going to go out of the firewall. We'll have to terminate it out there. Uh, we've got the orange wire done. And we have this wire going to the check engine light. Okay? Okay. Uh, the computer, it just uh, grounds the check engine light. This is a connector right here, okay? Uh, we put a connector showing that the wire colors changed a little bit through it. But um, so what turns this uh, check engine light on is the PCM grounding it out, okay? So that's why it only needs power going to it at all times and the PCM is the only thing that's going to turn that light on. Okay. Okay. So let's do the, let's add the length of the, the purple wire. Okay. I'm going to use red because I don't have purple. Okay. Purple wire. Um, and that will be the data wire. Okay. That's smart wire. Yep. Uh, and for some reason, when you look, this this uh, wiring die or this uh, engine is out of a 2005 or 2004 Tahoe, two wheel drive, um, and most all these LSs were pretty much the same, all the ones I've messed with, but they start out as purple as a data connector at, at the data connector, and then they end up being green at the uh, PCM. Okay, yeah. that, that one. So. Oh. All right, so there's the majority of wires that are going through our firewall, okay? okay. We need to add a little bit of length to the end of the uh, mill light, uh, which will be this wire here. Uh, it's brown. Um, on the wiring diagram on the 2004 Tahoe and it's going to run up to this connector, okay? Okay. Uh, so we just got to add some length to it and of course I don't have a brown wire. In a perfect world I would have every color of wire. Think so? Every color, every size. We have every color of marker now. Yeah, it's true. And the reason I'm using black anyway is because it is just a source to ground. So that's easy for me to remember. Look good? Sweet. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mount my um, check engine light up close to it. So for now, I'm just going to zip tie that together, all right? Okay. Um, just to keep it up there by it. And then all of our, our wire length um, 
we know we can come down. That should be more than enough to get me out to the fuse panel, right? Mm -hmm. I would think so. Okay. Our large wire there, that's a ground for the ALDO connector. Cool. Okay. So I'm just going to cut these off. I'm going to leave my length on that one because it has to go past the battery and come all the way up to the firewall uh, ground connection. Cool. Okay. So that's it for everything that's in the truck. We got the uh, check engine light, mill light right there. Uh, we've got a total of one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, we don't have five coming through the firewall. Two of those are grounds. Okay. Oh yeah. So we only have no. four that are coming through the firewall because I, I just connected those two grounds together. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's, we're just going to pretend that uh, we're going to run this through the firewall right now. Okay. okay. Just for learning sake, let's, let's do it this way. Okay. All right. So, what do we got to do then? Uh, we got to come through the firewall. We have to connect our ground, which uh, we'll probably do last. Uh, let's do the one that would be the most complicated one and put uh, the power one that is in the, the outside fuse box, okay? Okay. Uh, it's in connector one, uh, uh, position F7 in the connector, okay? It was orange and it is hot at all times. Okay. Cool. So that's what we'll do. I already uh, disconnected the uh, uh, this this lug from it so I could flip the box over because we're gonna have to get uh, connector number one out of here and the battery's disconnected too. Yeah. Uh, the negative on the battery is disconnected, so I could fold this over and work on it, okay? Cool. Uh, the wire that we're going to run is, um, on this one, it used to go to the instrument panel to uh, supply power to the instrument panel, but now we're going to use that fuse to just run um, the OBD2 connector and the check engine light, okay? Cool. And it says that it's position uh, F7 in connector one, which is the white one. So what we got to do is go to that connector number one and add a wire into F7. And hopefully when you took all this stuff apart, you saved a bunch of those wires. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or, oh no, okay, that's not, that wouldn't be right. So I'm looking at it, uh, the right side. Okay, all right. Yeah, look at it the way I'm used to looking at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that one. Mm, okay. So I would have been one off if I had counted over from the back, backwards. Mm, okay. Yeah. Right in there. Right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay that is confusing. <laughs> Tabs back in. All right, so now this is the last time today that I'm gonna have to pull connector number <laughs> one out. We also got this 5.3 put in after taking a 4.8 out, mm -hmm. and the O2 sensors are yeah. different for some reason, and we ended up putting new O2 sensors in it. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so following along with my wire colors, I did use an orange one. It starts off orange, and we're ending it off orange. so. That's strange for us to yeah. keep with the same wire colors. Uh, we'll have to add the fuse back to this fuse box. Yeah, don't forget that part. It works better when you put a fuse in it. Mm -hmm. uh, our 
power wire going to the light and the connector, the ALDO connector, is done. Okay? Yay! Alright, so two more wires, and that's it, right? We're done in the box. Okay? None of the other. Oh no. Oh come on. Oh no. There are, one. there are none of the other connectors that go, um, or none of the other wires that go to a connector underneath the box. So let's hook it back up. All right. So uh, the data connector. Uh, this one comes out of pin number two on the OBD two connector comes out of the connector is purple but it goes and it meets up at the PCM with a green wire and it's this connector um, hopefully like if you still have the um, oh if, if you're working on that vehicle it has light green tape on it but this one supplies just about everything that I need okay yeah that's the data connector right there uh, the, on this one we're using a plug uh, to go to it so you can undo it we can make the wires look nicer. Uh, but if you didn't have that plug, you could come back here and grab that green wire, cut it, and then um, use that, you know, of course, yeah. without the connector, right? Yep. And then, uh, while we're here, just by chance, right next to it, okay, it's a brown and white wire. And the brown with the white stripe wire on this connector uh, it is the one that grounds out the um, check engine light Ooh. or the mill light, okay? And so far on all of them I've messed with, that has always been the same, okay? But just like anything else, very important to uh, double check all that stuff. Yep. For whatever year you're working on in that, all right? So, so basically, uh, purple wire that come out of there. I didn't have a purple wire, like I said, but I'm gonna use a red wire okay. as my data wire. Okay, and someday we'll maybe add air conditioning to this and we'll have to tie onto this one. I don't know. You know? Don't wanna to get too fancy. The highfalutin air conditioning and all. All right, so on a data connector, you want a good connection, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, it looks solder to me. Okay, so, okay, so. Okay, so. All right. So the last wire is the wire that comes from the check engine light and it goes to the PCM. In the wiring diagram, it's a brown wire with a white stripe. It goes to this connector, like I just said. Um, and then from here, it goes down to the PCM and the PCM is what grounds that wire. Cool. Okay. And this is also why I don't just get rid of all those wires when I'm done doing something. Yeah. I tie them up, and then someday when we know that we're really done with the truck, then I'll, you know, I could fix that. But I still have that wire here that I don't have to add it to that connector still. And all we've got to do is connect this wire to that light bulb wire. Is all the wires that we need to do that except for the ground one yeah okay and uh, the check engine light does not need like if we didn't run this one mm -hmm. okay if I turn the key on right now it'll come on for a couple seconds because like I said the PCMs it's uh, ground okay, okay. 
So, so we'll do a bulb check when you turn the key. Yep. So there you go. Watch that. I'm gonna turn the key on for a second, and if ever if we've done a good job, that'll light up for a couple seconds. Cool. Yeah. So pretty. Still up? Yeah. Alright, so I'll start the truck okay. and then it'll go off. Cool. Okay. Alright, so if it hadn't gone off, um, that would have meant that something had turned the check engine light on, okay? Yeah. It had a trouble code in it or something. All right, so our mill light is working. Yay. All right. Uh, now, all we've got to do is add a ground. Okay. So i got to put an eyelid on it. Look good? It's good to me. Okay. All right. So, back here behind the battery, I have all the rest of my grounds. And I'm going to add it to that one. Try to do it without losing all of them. Are you saying I got giant hands? Yes. I got it. Good job. All right, so there's the ground for that. Uh, that is all the wires that it requires to do that. Yay. Uh, should we hook up the scan tool to it and make sure it reads something? Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, let's do that and uh, then we'll call it quits. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I think Ripley's already given up. Yeah, it's been a rough day for her. Yeah. All right, okay, so uh the one final step i've gone through and i've taken all the fuses out of this fuse box that that it didn't need to run anything yep um uh, so the instrument instrument panel fuse is this one right here uh but like i said this is a 2004 chevy tahoe um check for whatever you're working on okay yeah because these did change a little bit uh, but for the most part, all the Gen 3 and Gen 4 um, LS stuff uh, was real similar. Yeah. But you do have to double check. Yeah. Okay. General Motors was great about kind of keeping with the same stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. but I never trust them. I never trust that because it's real hard to figure out something after the fact. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So by putting that fuse in, now we have power. Uh, going to power up our um, OBD connector. Okay. All right. And the orange wire, pin number 16. So let's give it a shot, see if it works, okay? Cool. Um, we get asked all the time, what do we use? This is all data, yep. okay? Um, we also get all of our shop. Uh, management equipment off of it, yeah. like our labor hours and all the wiring diagrams and everything. So 
it's a uh, monthly monthly subscription that we pay for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it all they also provide a scan tool that does almost everything that we need, and it's just a regular ten inch tablet. And it's Bluetooth, so you can just plug it in and go wherever with your tablet, which is yeah. pretty cool, you yeah. know. But and that's the thing. I know a lot of people use the little Bluetooth plugs for their data link. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's a scanner that goes to your phone. So it really doesn't matter, I guess, where you put your OBD port, you know, as long as you can get to it. And uh, It is a law that this connector has got to be within reach underneath the dash. Is it really? Yes. That's why they're all in the same spot. Cause they're not, yeah. though. Because they can't hide them. That was part of the OBD. Oh, they try OBD to hide them. Stuff. Oh yeah, they they do the they, best they can to hide them. They put a little cover on yeah. it and shove it up in the corner and. Yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna come after me. Right. In my oh. seventy C ten. We should mount it on the roof. Ooh. All right, so it's working. Yeah. It's got a signal. Uh, now turn the key on. Uh, turn the key on because all the other stuff won't the computer won't fire up and talk to your scan tool mm -hmm. until you've done that so uh, reads the VIN number uh, what is this thing a Beretta uh, no I don't think so uh, Caprice Classic mm, Captiva Ooh. Ooh. oh HHR <gasps> I Ooh. wish yeah, this is a Silverado, all right, and that's the, it shows the VIN number and everything that this truck was tuned for, basically. Okay? Okay. And let's do enhanced powertrain, okay. Ooh, no codes. <gasps> Yay. Gotta love that. Yep. All right. So it's going to do everything that we need it to do. So that's it. We've got an ALDL connector. Yay. All right. And a check engine light. Yeah. I know. The juice doesn't eat it. Okay. So I realized that this isn't where the connector goes, but I will pull these pins out of here. I'll run it through the firewall and we'll make it look nice run it through a uh, wire loom and, yeah <clears throat> uh, attach that underneath the dash on the truck okay all right all right and the wire the little uh the little chuck engine there. okay yep all right so that's it excellent okay so there you go aldl OBD2, data link, diagnostic port, whatever you want to call it. But it's a pretty important thing, so. You know what else is important? Make sure you subscribe. Yes, I like that. If you'd like to check out some of our merch, you can go over to our channel page and click on the shopping tab. We got all kinds of cool stuff. But we appreciate you guys watching and we will catch you next time. <laughs> oh my goodness. People love dogs. Yeah. Oh, oh. God. Yeah. It's like a...